What's up guys, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. So today I got a really cool product that we got to review together. And this is this premium Bluetooth speaker. This is not your average $25 budget Bluetooth speaker you can get on Amazon. But first, if this is the first time you're stopping by, hopefully you'll enjoy this video and welcome to this channel. If you enjoy this, please consider subscribing and don't forget to change the bell notifications to all because that's the only way you'll be notified for all my future videos. And by the way, I think I can get a giveaway uh, for you guys. So if you're interested in entering into a drawing, just don't forget to continue to watch the video and I'll share the instruction. This is probably one of the most premium and coolest speakers I have reviewed in the past three years that I've had my channel. This is Cybercube by Musen. As you can see, it comes with this uh, really nice gift bag. And when you take the box outside this gift bag, you are presented with the Bluetooth speaker itself. This is the Cybercube. It's a 5.0 uh, Bluetooth and it has a 1000 milliamp battery. So a good amount of battery for this size speaker. The way you would open it, you have this opening at the top, this hole, you can just push through and you can slide out this cabinet right here it comes in two different colors this is the premium version you can get it in white or you can get it in gray i had two of them so i've been playing around and testing this one while keeping this one for the uh, to do an unboxing on the camera but uh after that you can go ahead lift this dust cover and the speakers right here it is fairly heavy for its size so it kind of like catches you off guard first when you are handling it let's see what else we have inside the box look inside first you have your owner's manual and then there's a flap down here you would open that and that's where you have your cable so that's the unboxing this is the content of the package very simple Now let's do a quick product tour. Talking about the cable first, this is USB type uh, A to USB type C. So keep that in mind. I always appreciate a good USB type C connection. So the product itself, like I said, it's very premium. You can definitely feel it when you handle this. It's not plasticky and you can see the fit and finish and the attention to detail uh, all the way around this speaker it weighs just over half a pound about 0 0.55 pounds the very first thing that stands out is this spinner right at the top it very satisfying it is extremely smooth and it spins for a very 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 long time then uh, some of the other things you would notice are all these like knobs and buttons and things you can twist and push starting with this knob right here this is your volume knob it's tactile very satisfying it is very clicky there is a button at the top and most of the button pretty much you can press it doesn't do anything because in order to activate and do what they're supposed to do you have to hold it for a few seconds so for example this button doesn't do anything again this is a a lot of fidgety stuff on it too so you, stuff you can turn play push pull and things like that so this button right here very clicky when you push and hold the rgb lighting around the speaker will come on this button right here uh, you can push this again tactile very clicky but also you can actually turn this or twist this uh, up and down a little bit so uh, let's see when you push and hold the flashlight will come on when you press it one more time it will dim it when you press it one more time it will get into sos sequence i think and then uh, you push and hold you can turn it off to turn the speaker on you turn this uh counterclockwise and hold for three seconds and it will turn the speaker on this button right here this is how you can pause and play and this knob right here that you can rotate you can skip songs or go backwards. On the side, you have this flap that will open. This is where your USB type C port is. This is IPX5, by the way, so it is water resistant. Uh, it's more like splash resistant. 
Uh, IPX4 and 5, I would not recommend dunking this, uh, but it could easily survive in the rain. Let's see, and you have uh, this loop at the top in case if you want to attach this to any strap around your backpack or things like that. I have a couple of songs I'm going to play. I have this dB meter that I'm going to use to measure how loud this thing gets. Uh, by the way, these uh, sell, I think, for 159 uh, for the premium uh, one with the spinner, and you can get the one without them, which is less expensive. But I may have a coupon, I have to check. I can probably secure a giveaway for you. So if you're interested in entering the giveaway, make sure uh, you have subscribed. Drop a comment down below. Let me know you're interested in entering the drawing. And all you have to do, just go ahead, send me a DM. And then you need to say CyberQ in the DM. That's all you need to do. Uh, unfortunately, I can only do this in the US. So if you're outside of the US, which 50% of my audience are, uh, I'm so sorry I cannot uh, have you be included in this giveaway. Either way, I really appreciate your support and being here. Feel your eyes, they all over me. Don't be shy, take control of me. Get the vibe, it's gonna be lit tonight. Baby girl, you give me ten ton of fatness. Give me some of that. Thinks with the badness, look how she at. Shape like a death, but I'm not just that. It's a good piece of mental sand that they get. Feel your eyes, they all over me. So here are the speakers. You got the black version, you got the white version. Obviously, they both sound the same. What do you guys think about the quality? Hopefully, I was able to really relay how loud it is and the crispiness of the sound through my recording and hopefully through YouTube compression, uh, you're still able to get a sense of for what these things will do. Uh, if you just want pure loudness, yes, you have other options. But if you want something very premium, almost used as a desk ornament, uh, something like this may be for you. This will be a really cool gift for someone who is into tech and gadget. I had this on my on my desk when I was working right next to my my laptop, and this really helped me focus, especially the fidget spinner and uh, all the knobs and dials it has. So as I'm thinking, as I was working, I constantly had this on my desk in front of me. And because it is heavy, when you're playing around with it, it's really not gonna move on the table neither. But like I said, it's a niche product. It is very unique. Let's talk about the audio quality. This definitely gets loud. 100 dB is no joke. And depending on the song I was listening to at about a foot, this pushed over 102 dB. So that was very, very impressive. It did not get distorted at all, even at max volume. But I will tell you the audio was more enjoyable at about probably 80% because 100% volume was just way too loud. And I don't think I would want to have this that loud, especially this is more of like a personal speaker. It's in your personal space. It's in your hand. It's on your backpack. It's on your desk. So you're typically not going to turn it up that loud. Finally, uh, when it comes to bass, you do get some bass. It's definitely noticeable, but you're not getting this because of the bass. It comes down to basic physics. In order for a speaker to produce a decent or good bass, it needs to be able to displace air. That's how subwoofer make the sound. That's why you feel the bass. That's why I hear the bass. 
there is only so much air this tiny driver can display. So you need to have realistic expectation about the bass you will get out of this. That's why I try to play different types of music so you get a feel for what type of bass you will be able to hear and feel out of this thing. I ended up playing around with the fidget spinner and the fidgety stuff, the, the rollers, the knobs and things like that a lot more than I thought when I had this all day sitting on my desk today. But anyways, this has been it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Hopefully I was able to cover everything for you. If I missed anything, please ask down below. I typically try to read and answer every single one of your comments and questions. If you're still watching this video, you're a trooper. Thank you so much for all your support. Again, if you're a new visitor here, please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and a thumbs up would be highly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.